Hello Virgo, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Virgo, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid, so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Virgo currently view this relationship? All right, Virgo, so we do have the Eight of Cups, we have the Hangman, and then we also have the uh, Three of Cups out here. At the bottom of the deck, we, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Virgo, wait a minute. We have the Strength card and the Chariot. For those of you who do not know this, the person that's in the Strength card is actually the Empress, and the person that's actually um, in the Chariot is the uh, Emperor, making it a true pair situation here between you and this person. Virgo, it, it kind of looks like, um, it kind of looks like love is showing up here for you. And it's coming from somebody that you're very compatible with. Very compatible with. But anyways, love is showing up here for you. And it, 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 it kind of looks like you're just not open and receptive to it. It just kind of looks like you're not open and receptive to it. I just kind of feel, Virgo, um, like you could very well be allowing like past experiences, right, that you've had like with other people um, to stop you, right, from being open and receptive to this connection. But you're just kind of sitting in this overall energy, Virgo, of wanting absolutely nothing to do with love, like absolutely nothing to do with love. Like I feel like you're consciously aware, right, that yeah, this is somebody that you mesh very well with. Yeah, this is somebody that, um, you know, you have a lot of things in common with. Um, you know, yeah, this is someone that, you know, you feel drawn to. Um, yeah, this is somebody that you're definitely interested in a romantic way. But you're just not even allowing yourself to even go there. You're just not even allowing yourself to even go there. You're not. You're definitely not. And with the... Um, Eight of Cups to the Three of Cups, that creates a Five of Cups at play, which does speak of loss, and it also speaks of, you know, disappointment and heartache and, you know, stuff of that, you know, things of that nature, right? Um, I just kind of feel like that's something that you're trying to avoid. That's just something that you're trying to avoid from experiencing again. Um, you know, another failed, you know, marriage, another failed, failed relationship, um, experiencing another betrayal, uh, another heartbreak, like, it kind of looks like you're good. You're good. You're good on all of that. Um, okay, Virgo, let's look at this person that's showing up here for you. Whoever this person is, though, it's definitely somebody of your caliber. It's somebody who brings just as much to the table as you do. Like I said, you guys are very compatible to one another, and I feel like you know that. I feel like you know that you and this person are very compatible to one another. You know, I feel like this is someone... Um, that you are interested in a romantic way, but it's just like you're just not allowing yourself to go there. Okay. How does this person currently view this relationship with Virgo? Okay. You know, I feel like these are phases that they're actually going through, Virgo. I kind of feel like prior, you know what I mean, to, um, you know, this person meeting you, they started to kind of like lose hope, you know, when it came down to like finding the perfect person for them, um, you know, finding that perfect person that they can go off and build and establish a life with. Um, but I do kind of feel like that's drastically changing. That's drastically changing. I feel like this person is starting to become very hopeful in regards to you and the relationship that they share with you and what it could potentially become one day yeah so they go from not having so much hope and, and, and faith when it comes down to love to having a boatload of um faith and hope when it comes down to love and it is technically speaking because of you so i i, I guess we'll see um I guess we'll see how this all plays out. We're going to be honest. And I just I just said this in somebody's reading. I just forgot, you know, for the life of me who it was. But, oh, no, dude. I just kind of feel like, um, I just kind of feel like you tried. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you tried, um, you know, your heart is to build and establish, you know, a meaningful connection with someone um, in the past. And it kind of looks like, um, unfortunately, right, you ended up getting hurt and, and betrayed and, and deceived by that person. So, you know, after that whole situation, you know, 
um, went south between you and the person that you were dealing with, I just kind of feel like it, it just caused you to become like very um, jaded, very jaded, um, unfortunately. Um, but let's let's see how you're currently feeling. How does Virgo currently feel? Virgo, you're you're making me sad. Jesus, you're making me sad, Virgo. We have the devil, we have the star, and then we also have the hair font. Man, this is kind of making me sad, Virgo. Um, th this is kind of like an overall energy of you not being able to tell. Yeah, this is like an overall energy of you not being able to tell, like... Um, What's real and what's not real? Who's loyal and who's not loyal? Who's trustworthy and who's not trustworthy? It, it, it's like... It's like you just don't... How do I say this? It's just like... Oh God, how do I explain this? Um, you're just not able to tell anymore. Like, I feel like there was like a point in time, right? Where you were able to kind of tell, like, you know, who you can trust and who you can't trust. Um who you should be investing your time and energy towards and who you shouldn't be investing your time and energy towards. But I kind of feel like, yo, like this, this whole situation that you went through in the past, like it really messed you up to the point where it's like, you can't even tell like what's real, what's not real. You can't tell who's loyal, who's not loyal. You can't tell who's trustworthy, who's not trustworthy. So with that being said, with that being said, um, you know, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the full, and then we also have the uh, three of swords, so lovers. You just don't even want to deal with it. You just don't even want to deal with it anymore. You just don't even want to deal with it anymore. You don't want to, like, sit in a relationship um, with absolutely anyone questioning yourself, you know what I mean? If you are dealing with the right person or not. You don't want to find yourself in that predicament um, where you find yourself, you know, going crazy um, is kind of what I'm getting. Because I kind of feel like this this previous relationship that you were a part of, like, I feel like it really did mess with you mentally, um, you know, to the point where, you know, on one hand, you thought that the person loved you and, and cared about you. And then on the other hand, it's like, you know, they're basically showing you that you don't matter and that they don't actually care um, about you. So with that being said, yeah, you know, a lot of you kind of found yourself kind of going crazy within that last relationship that you were in. So then there's that Virgo Then there's that. How does this person currently feel? We have the King of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. We got the uh, Ten of Cups. And then we also have the um, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, Virgo. Virgo. Um, I'll be honest, okay? You know, the more that this person gets to know you, the more, you know, that this person, you know, talks to you, the more this person, you know, finds themselves essentially feeling like this could potentially lead to something serious here, uh, between you and, and them someday. Um, and, and that's one thing that I will say is that they're definitely hoping that, you know, that would essentially happen here between you and them, as far as like it getting more serious here. Um, is concerned, you know, currently at the moment, I mean, listen, you might have like a friends with benefits sort of situation with them, you know, that's definitely a possibility. Um, or you might just be strictly friends with this person, right? But regardless of the status, right, of your relationship with this person, I think that, you know, I can say with confidence that you're definitely not in a committed relationship with this person. Absolutely not. Especially going based off of your overall energy. No, I don't feel like you're in a committed relationship with them or anything like that. Um, so yeah. You know, regardless, like I said, of the status of your relationship with this person currently at the moment, um, they're just kind of really hoping that it does eventually turn into something more serious here um, between you and them. I don't necessarily feel like this person's like in a rush or anything like that. You know, as far as like jumping into a full-blown committed relationship with you is concerned, um, 
But if it's one thing that I will say is, yeah, the more this person talks to you, the more that this person isn't around you, the more that this person gets to know you, the more this person's like, damn, like, I've been waiting for someone like this my whole life, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, then there's that, Virgo, then there's that. Um, King of Swords to the Page of Pentacles. You know, King of Swords energy. Let's just talk about the King of Swords. King of Swords is, you know, somebody who's very, very big on communication. It's also somebody who's known for being very, very intelligent, very, very well spoken. Um, not only that, but, you know, the King of Swords is somebody who is very, very blunt, very, very honest, and also known to be very, very trustworthy. And the fact that this person has a page right next to them is kind of telling me um, that they are very, very trustworthy. Now, with all of that being said, Virgo, um, even though I can tell that this person is very, very trustworthy, I can tell that this person knows exactly what they're looking for and exactly what it is that they want, uh, even though I can tell that this person genuinely does have your best interests at heart, I'm going to be a straight shooter about this, Virgo. I don't think that it's going to bring you any ounce of comfort by hearing all of that from me. Um, and it's and it's mainly because this past situation that you were involved in, it messed you up so much to the point where it's like, you don't even know like who to trust, what to believe, you know, at this point in time. So obviously I would love for it to bring you some comfort, Virgo, but I mean, I understand why it wouldn't. Um, and I feel like it does have a lot to do with this previous relationship that you were in. Obviously, there's still a lot of healing that needs to take place here, um, you know, on your behalf. But I guess we'll see, right, what happens uh, between you and this person. But I'm not getting any sort of, like, uh, red flags coming off of this person whatsoever. Um, no, I'm not getting anything bad off of them. I am going to double check on the King of Swords energy just to kind of see what else I can get off of this person. But I'm not, I'm not getting anything negative off of them whatsoever. I'm not. Um, what actions will Virgo take towards this person or moving forward? Okay. We have the Six of Cups. We got the uh, Six of Pentacles. And then we also have the uh, Four of Wands. Okay, I feel like it has a lot to do with this energy over here that's causing you to become so like um, open and receptive to them and this connection here with them. You know what's crazy, Virgo, is that I don't even feel like you even notice yourself being open and receptive to them and this connection. I don't even see you noticing it. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I, I don't, I don't see you noticing what you're doing here. It's strange. It is strange. But yeah, no, I, I don't feel like you notice yourself letting this person in, letting your guard down. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the way that they are as an individual. And the way that they're choosing to approach this relationship with you. It makes you feel comfortable. It makes you feel safe. It makes you feel like you can lower your guard down. But see, that's that's the thing, Virgo, right? Is that I just don't feel like you notice yourself doing this, letting this person in, letting your guard down. I don't even feel like you notice this. I don't. I don't feel like you notice this. I don't, which is so strange. I've never actually gotten a message like that before ever in my freaking life, to be honest. Um, but... Virgo, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Justice card, um, and then we also have the uh, Tower out here. There's going to come a point in time, Virgo, where you're going to notice um, that you are letting your guard down here with this person. Uh, there's going to come a point in time, Virgo, where you are going to notice... Um, you know, you basically being open and receptive to this connection. Um, and I do see you making the attempt to try to put a stop, right, to this, you know, connection, uh, to this, you know, relationship. And I just want to see why. I just want to see why. I just want to see why. I feel like it has a lot to do with, you know, the past and what you went through. I feel like it has a lot to do with that. Um, but I do want to see why. You're just kind of like pumping the brakes here on this relationship and putting a stop um, 
to this relationship um, out of nowhere. And I feel like it's because you're starting to kind of notice um, yourself becoming vulnerable and open and receptive to this connection. Which in return is causing you to more than likely think that you're putting yourself in that predicament to get hurt and betrayed and, and deceived again. But yeah, I feel like the only reason why you're being so open and receptive to this one over here is because of, you know, the way that they are, you know, as a person. Like, you know, this is that type of person that you can talk to and you don't have to worry, right, about them turning around and judging you. Um, you know, this is that type of person that's going to make you feel safe to tell them anything. Um, this is that type of person that's going to um, make you feel like you can honestly be yourself around them. You know what I mean? And and because they are the way that they freaking are, I feel like that's what's getting you to kind of lower your guard down. That's what's kind of getting you to be open and receptive to this connection. All right, let's, let's see what else I can get. Um, I want to look at this King of Swords, though. Sorry. Wait a minute. Tell you more about that King of Swords. Oh man, like this person has really good cards that are coming out here for them. Not only are they trustworthy, they're reliable, they're dependable. Um, tell me more about the uh, King of Swords. This is this one over here is going to be very consistent, and very persistent with you. Okay. All right, let's see what else I can get here. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords, and then we also have the um, Death card out here. Okay. There's an overall energy, Virgo. Like, when it comes down to, like, you. Like, specifically you and this relationship that they share with you. Like, there's an overall energy of them being very determined to not do anything that could potentially put them in that predicament to basically lose you and the relationship that they're trying to establish and develop with you. So, look at it as them, like, trying their hardest to, like, walk this fine line and just simply do things the right way, okay? And it's stemming from a place of them kind of realizing, right, that in previous relationships, um, you know, they were very, very unreliable. Um, you know, in previous relationships, they were, you know, very untrustworthy. In previous relationships, unfortunately, they did do a few things to self-sabotage really good opportunities for themselves. So when it comes down to you, they're very determined to like go about this relationship extremely differently in hopes, right? Um, that they basically just get, you know, a better outcome. All right. Because it kind of looks like every other relationship that they were a part of, it basically went south, right? Um, and it has a lot to do with them and the way that they were basically showing up. In, in relationships so I like it I like it a lot I like it a lot now what actions will this person take towards Virgo or moving forward you're switching up on them we have the Seven of Wands to the Five of Swords, and then we got the Ten of You're switching up on them. And I feel like it has a lot to do with this energy, Virgo. You're switching up on this person, and I feel like it's catching them off guard, and they're not really anticipating or expecting all of this from you. It's like, how do I say this? It's like things were going oh so good, right? Uh, between you and them, and then boom, something like randomly happens out of nowhere that drastically, like, changes everything here between you and them i'm kind of getting like an overall energy of like confusion coming from this person i'm also kind of getting that like um it's like they're asking themselves like damn like did i say something wrong did i do something wrong like what just happened you know what i mean like it has that type of feel to it i do want to look at the tower um and the justice card tell me more about the tower and the justice card We have, okay, we have the King of Cups, all right, all right, we have the King of Cups to the uh, Five of Cups, and then we also have the uh, Knight of Cups. Okay, all right, all right, Virgo, a lot of you feel like if you just, you know, keep this up, right, you know, 
with this person in particular that they're just going to turn around and eventually, you know what I mean, um, catch feelings for you. And because you kind of know that you're not necessarily ready to kind of reciprocate that back and return to them, it, it's causing you to basically feel like you have to walk away. Um, and it, and listen, it is also kind of stemming from a place of obviously you not wanting to hurt this person. Okay. The bottom of the deck, we have the seven of swords. We also have the seven of cups. And then we also have the, oh, Virgo. Seven of swords to the seven of cups to the ten of freaking pentacles. And we got the freaking high priestess out here with the two of cups. To repair a situation yet again between you and this person. Um, you know, we have the hair font out here as well as the um, high priestess. So not only are you dealing with somebody of your caliber, in other words, they bring just as much to this table as you do. You guys actually have a very strong and intense spiritual connection with one another. Like y'all can definitely relate to one another on so many different levels. It's not even freaking funny. Now, Virgo, I feel like another reason, right, why you're you're deciding to kind of pump the brakes and just stop all of this um, has a lot to do with the past. It has a lot to do with the past and, you know, everything that you've experienced um, in the past um, that you would like to avoid, that you would like to avoid experiencing again. But with the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo, um, to the High Priestess, to the Two of Cups, that's kind of telling me, Virgo, that's kind of telling me that you don't have anything to worry about like you think you do. It's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. You don't really have anything to worry about like you think you do. I understand why you think you have everything to worry about, right? Uh, when it comes down to this person and letting them in and, you know, letting your guard down. Like, I, I understand you know, why you feel that way. And it does have a lot to do with your past. Um, and it also has a lot to do with, you know, you just kind of feeling like you're just not ready. You know what I mean? To like embrace, you know what I mean? What it is that you could have with this person, you know, due to the fact that, yeah, there is still some healing that needs to essentially take place. Um, and because there is some healing that still needs to kind of take place on your behalf, you just don't feel that you can honestly show up in the ways that they would need you to show up or even in the ways that you would want to basically show up because like right now Virgo it's like yo like this this whole situation from your past yo it just has you so like jaded it has you like in this like you know place of not really wanting anything to do with love um Virgo this is kind of telling me, dude, um, that you could have something long term with this person. You could have something stable with this person. Hell, I mean, with the high priestess to the hair font coming out here, I mean, this this relationship it could it could reach a point of marriage because the hair font to the uh, high priestess. Technically speaking, these two are married to one another. I don't think that you're married to this person. I don't even think you're in a relationship with them right now, anyways. But it could. I mean, this relationship it could go places. It could go places. It could totally go places. But. You're just like, yeah, maybe it could go places. But you know what, Milagos? I'm not trying to find out either. You know what I mean? Like, that's just kind of like what I'm getting off of you. Like, the, your whole thing is, is that you just feel like if you keep interacting with this person, if you keep surrounding yourself with this person, that this one over here is going to, you know, start to catch feelings and then turn around and, you know, ask for more out of you and this relationship that they share with you. And you just don't feel like you're at that place in your life where you could you could do something like that as far as showing up in the ways they need you to show up or showing up in the ways that you would want to show up in a relationship. Let's look at the um, five of swords really quickly here. We have the Ace of Cups, we got the Four of Wands, um, and then we also have the uh, Eight of Swords. Oh, Virgo. <clears throat> All right. Um, 
you know, this person does kind of come off to me um, as somebody who can be very, very hard on themselves. They can be very, very hard on themselves um, at times. It's like they constantly find themselves, like, overthinking the things that come out of their mouth is, like, the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. So the fact that you're just, like, out of nowhere deciding to, like, pump the brakes, right, on this entire situation, it's causing them to kind of, like, reflect back on, like, everything that they've ever said to you. Like, man, like, did I say something wrong? Like, did I do something wrong? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what is going on? What is going on? Um, with the Ace of Cups to the Four of Wands coming out here, Virgo, and this human has a Seven of Wands attached to them, not only are they going to make it a priority to kind of get down to the bottom of, like, what they said or what they did to cause you to just all of a sudden pump the brakes on this relationship, um... But I also see them very determined, Virgo, like very, very determined to establish and create the relationship that they want with you. And I feel like it has everything to do with the fact that you just so happen, right, to fit everything that they're basically looking for within a person. So had you not, right, fit what this person was looking for within a person, they would have just kind of wrapped this thing up and just call it a day, you know what I mean, and just keep it moving. But because you just so happen, right, to fit everything that they're looking for within a person, the fact that you guys can be able to connect with one another on every freaking level, like what you guys have with one another, I would say it's very... um rare and, and and very um unique to stumble across right um and that's what's going to cause this one over here to um put up a fight to basically keep you in their life and i do feel virgo um i do feel virgo like you know because they are the way that they are um and because you feel you can honestly talk to them and, and be yourself around them and be open and honest with them i do feel like you're going to share with them you know obviously the reasons why you're you're pumping the brakes right um on this relationship but just i guess prepare yourself right because if if you think that by telling this person you know like this is the reason why like i'm pumping the brakes now um if you think for one second this person's gonna be like, all right, Virgo, like, I understand. It's okay. Like, I understand. Like, I'll just leave you alone for the rest of my life. No, it is not gonna play out that way. It's not gonna play out that way. Mm -mm. It's not gonna play out that way. If anything, I see this person trying to, like, for one, fight to keep you in your life. Uh, to, let me say that again. For one, I do see this person trying, right, to keep you in your life, but I also see them probably, you know, even going as far as to, like, show you and prove to you that you don't have anything to worry about when it comes down to them. I'm kind of curious to uh, see the outcome here between you and this person. What's the outcome here between Virgo and this person to the right of me? I should have actually grabbed the devil. I just want to see something. Because who knows? Maybe the devil wants to come out. I don't know. We'll see. So far, we do have the uh, Page of Cups and the uh, Queen of Pentacles. All right. Let's see the outcome of this relationship, Virgo. Let's see the outcome. Between Virgo and this person to the right of me. All right. Virgo. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Okay. So in regards to the outcome here um, between you and this person, I'm going to be very honest and, and transparent in what I'm seeing here, okay? Even though, yes, I see this one over here turning around and, you know, putting up a fight, right? To keep you in their life and to show you, like, yo, you don't have anything to worry about when it comes down to me. I understand what you're going through, but I'm telling you, you don't have anything to worry about. Are you going to sit here and trust it? No, absolutely not. You're not. You're not going to sit here and trust all of that to the point where I do see the two of you temporarily, temporarily, okay, parting ways. Temporarily, yes, I do kind of see you guys parting ways here. Um, and the reason why, you know, you guys are going to essentially part ways is because of the simple fact that, yeah, they could sit here and, you know, you know, try to prove to you that you don't have anything to worry about here, you know, when it comes down to them. But 
because you have a hard time trusting people, because you have a hard time, you know, believing the words that come out of a person's mouth due to this previous relationship that you were a part of, you're not going to trust it. Um, and, and you're going to retract your energy and you are going to back away from this connection. But with the temperance card coming out here, that's kind of telling me that this is going to be a temporary ending, not a permanent ending, a temporary ending. Okay. Now with the queen, of Pentacles to the Page of Cups, uh, to the Empress coming out here. I feel like, I'm going to be honest, Virgo. I kind of feel like the only reason why it's going to be a temporary ending is because this one over here is going to have a hard time saying goodbye to you. This one over here is going to have a hard time saying goodbye to you. In other words, when you do decide to run in the opposite direction of this relationship, you're not going to be the reason why this relationship comes back together all over again. It's going to be because of them, you know, reaching out to you, trying to lure you back in. You know what I mean? Hmm. All right. What else can you tell me? You know, Virgo, I just... I just kind of feel right like um eventually right eventually and i feel like it's gonna take some time honey for you to get there but i feel like eventually virgo because again this is a temporary you know ending here not a permanent one y'all will eventually right um you know reconnect here with one another and it's gonna be because of them it's not gonna be because of you because if we leave it up to you virgo you know y'all are never gonna end up getting back together right so this one over here is gonna make it a priority to try to lure you back in um and i feel like they're gonna be very successful at it now with the seven of wands to the six of cups that's kind of telling me that even though i do see you accepting them back in your life because of the connection that you share here with them you're still going to find yourself guarded either which way but if it's one thing that i will say virgo is that in time and i feel like it's going to take some time you will eventually lower your guard down you will eventually see for yourself that you don't actually have anything to worry about like you think you do the bottom of the deck we do have the uh, emperor and then we also have the ten of swords now i'm not saying this to be rude or anything like that um i apologize if it does kind of come off that way um but virgo from the looks of it, I feel like this person runs a higher risk, I would say, of getting hurt and, and disappointed by you than it being the other way around. It's like you're looking at this entire situation like, no, but I run a higher risk of getting hurt and disappointed over here. Um, it's, it's actually quite the opposite, to be completely honest. Uh, they actually run a higher risk of getting hurt and disappointed in the end by you than it being, you know, the other way around. And the reason for that is because the reason for that is mainly because you're harnessing like um self-sabotaging energy to you right and listen i don't feel like you mean to show up right with the self-sabotaging energy attached to your energy i don't feel like you mean to show up uh this way i just kind of feel like you're scared i just feel like you're scared and i just kind of feel like you know because of like past experiences that you went through with other people like that's kind of why you know you're you're in this self-sabotaging energy um to the point where yeah you want to run in the opposite direction um of this relationship like i said dude i don't feel like i mean to show up this way but if it's one thing that i will say yeah virgo because you harness like you know that self-sabotaging energy um they do technically speaking run a higher risk of like getting hurt and disappointed by you than it being the other way around and not only do you harness like self-sabotaging energy that prompts you to run in the opposite direction of this relationship, but you, my friend, also kind of have one foot in, one foot out when it comes down to them. It's like a part of you wants them and a part of you doesn't, but the part of you that doesn't want them is, you know, is because of the whole, but what if this happens and what if that happens? And it also has a lot to do with your past, right? You're not dealing with somebody who has one foot in, one foot out. Like they're all in, homie, when it comes down to you. You know what I mean? But we can't really say that about you. And I understand why we can't say that about you. You know what I mean? But if you really like look at the bigger picture here, they run a higher risk of getting hurt than you do. Because they're dealing with somebody who has one foot in, one foot out. 
Um, they're dealing with somebody who's harnessing that, you know, self-sabotaging energy to the point where it does kind of prompt them, right, to run in the opposite direction of this relationship. So, you see what I mean? You see what I mean, Virgo? You see what I mean? Virgo. <clears throat> Look at this, dude. We have the Five of Pentacles. We got the Death card. We also have the Three of Swords. And then we also have the um, Three of Wands. I'm not saying this to make you feel bad, but I just, just to kind of get you to see the bigger picture here, okay? Um, I'm just going to be a straight shooter about this, okay? Um, if, how do I say this? If you keep this up, you know, as far as like, you allowing fear and like this self-sabotaging energy, right? To influence you to run in the opposite direction uh, time and time again. What's going to end up happening, Virgo, is that this person is going to develop abandonment issues. Okay, they're going to develop abandonment issues. Um, they're going to find themselves essentially feeling like, you know, maybe the reason why you're doing all this is because you don't really want them. You know, maybe the reason why you're doing all of this is because they're just simply not good enough for you. So I do kind of see them, yes, like um, developing abandonment issues, but I also kind of see this person um, I also kind of see this person um, becoming very, very insecure you know, within themselves. Okay. Um, yeah, I do. Now, I also feel Virgo, like, um, if you keep this up as far as like, you know, the self-sabotaging energy is concerned and allowing your past to, you know, control you till this day. And, you know, you being one foot in one foot out when it comes down to this person, um, it's going to cause this person a lot of pain. It's going to cause this person a lot of heartache, okay? A lot of pain and a lot of heartache. Um, not only that, but I also kind of feel like um, when the two of you do part ways, because I do kind of see that happening, and it might even happen more than once, to be honest, um, I see them kind of um, having a hard time uh, moving forward and moving on with their life, okay? Okay. Um, and just completely and utterly forgetting about you, okay? And what they once upon a time had with you. So, in other words, they're going to find themselves feeling like, fuck, I'm never going to get over this damn Virgo. I'm never going to get over this Virgo. I'm never going to get over them. I'm never going to get over them. Like, they're going to find themselves feeling that way. Um, they're going to find themselves feeling stuck on someone that they can't, they, 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 they can't even freaking have. You know what I mean? Um, so, imagine, you know what I mean, how much that must suck, Right? Um, to experience a breakup and not be able to even find a freaking way to get over that person. Because if you think for one second this person is not going to try to get over you, think again. Because they're going to try everything under the sun to get over you, but it's not going to work. Which is kind of making me feel like I think y'all are just destined to be with one another, Virgo. Um, I do. I, I think that you guys are just destined to be with one another. I just kind of feel like you need to kind of look at the bigger picture here, homie. Um, and the bigger picture is basically telling you that, okay, we understand that you're worried and, and you're scared and the what if this happens, what if that happens. And, we, you know, we get it that you're looking at this entire situation like I run a higher risk of getting hurt, not them, right? Like we understand that, right? But truth be told, Virgo, it's quite the, it, it, it is literally the other way around. Like they actually run a higher risk than you do. They do. They definitely do, Virgo. So in other words, they should be more worried and concerned than you. You know what I mean? And again, it's not a judgmental thing. I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that. It is what it is, right? Like, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to get you to kind of see that you don't... I mean, I... <laughs> I get why you're worried, but like I said, it's just like, it just, you know, I'm just trying to get you to see the bigger picture here that they, they run a higher risk of getting hurt than you do. They do. They definitely do. Um, so then there's that. Let's pull some advice and then we will wrap this up. Okay. Any advice for Virgo in regards to this spread? Mm. 
So it kind of looks like in the past you were dealing with a king of wands, which, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. You know, you could have been dealing with like a playboy, playgirl-like energy. See, king of wands, man, is that type of person that will sit there and tell you, you know, whatever it is that they uh, think you want to hear. And it kind of looks like that's what you were basically dealing with in the past, which kind of makes sense as to why you were in that energy of like, I don't even know what's real or not. Like, I don't even know who's trustworthy or not. I don't even know who's loyal or not. Like, I don't even know anymore. You know what I mean? Um, I just kind of feel like this one led you to think and believe that they honestly did love you and that they honestly did care about you when in all actuality they don't care about anybody but themselves you know what i mean um you know with the five of cups coming out here i find that to be so interesting so i'm kind of getting the five of swords which is kind of making me feel like you really did try your hardest to make this you know relationship between you and this person work you really, really did. But I feel like you kind of reached that point within this relationship with this person where you kind of felt like defeated to the point where you just kind of decided to just kind of throw your hands up and be like, you know what? Fuck it. You know what I mean? Um, you know what's fascinating, though, is that with the Five of Cups coming out here, it, it, it's like you're looking at this this King of Wands like, like you, like, how do I say this? How do I say it's like you're looking at this King of Wands and your relationship with this King of Wands um, and, and you instantly find yourself, you know, feeling like you lost. Like you lost. Like you lost. Which is weird because, I'm sorry, Virgo, um, you're showing up as a freaking empress, okay? And it looks like you were dealing, obviously, with this King of Wands coming out here. And I'm not saying this to make you feel better or anything like that, but... I don't feel like you lost anything worth holding on to. Um, now, can I say this about this King of Wands? No, I can't. I feel like this King of Wands actually um, lost something worth holding on to. There's levels to this, you guys. So we have the uh, we have the uh, Queen of Wands, right, that comes out first. And then we have the Queen of Swords that follows. And then we have the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. And that's when we hit Empress status, okay? Um, so let's just start off with a simple fact, right? That you were dealing with somebody who wasn't even of your caliber. In other words, you found yourself doing far more in this relationship than this one over here did. Uh, King of Wands also, too, is somebody um, who typically oftentimes don't really, they, they don't really have their priorities in check. And it's mainly because, you know, they think that, you know, life is just, I don't know. Um, life is just, I don't know, like... Nothing to really take seriously, I guess, um, you know, to the point where to the point where they didn't really ever make it a priority to like, you know, get, you know, their priorities straight or get their life in order. You know, what I mean, I just kind of feel like this one over here just doesn't really take life seriously, um, you know, things of that nature, which in return. And this is why I say this a lot. It's hard to build with a king of wands because the king of wands doesn't have their priorities straight. Um, they're not striving to become, you know, a better version of themselves because they're too caught up in, you know, uh, let's not take life seriously, you know, whatever. Um, Virgo, I don't feel like you lost anything, you know, worth holding on to. I feel like they did. I, I just don't feel like you did though. Uh, tell me more about the five of cups. We have the Empress, yeah. I'm sorry, dude. I am so freaking sorry. You didn't lose any damn thing worth holding on to. You didn't lose anything worth holding on to. And I feel like there's going to come a point in time, homie, where you're going to come to terms with that. And you're going to eventually accept that. That you didn't lose anything worth holding on to. And on top of that, Virgo, I just kind of feel like you were asking a whole lot from somebody who's very incapable of showing up in the ways you need them to basically show up. You know what I mean? They're just incapable. You know what I mean? They're just incapable of showing up in the ways you need them to show up. And that's, that's, you know, that's not your fault. You know what I mean? That's their fault that they're incapable of showing up in the ways that you need them to show up. But see, that's my thing, Virgo, is that you're dealing with a whole emperor now. Like you don't have to deal with all that shit no more. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to deal with none of that anymore. You don't. That's the thing. You don't have to deal with that anymore. 
you don't have to deal with you constantly doing far more in you know this relationship than this person that you're with because again you're 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 getting with someone who's of your caliber this person brings just as much to the table as you do so you know with that being said i don't feel like you lost anything worth holding on to i don't feel like this person's probably ever going to get their act together but that's not your problem you know what i mean let them let them you know go live their life and and um you know continue to not have their priorities straight. Let them go off and do them. You know what I mean? Um, cause it, it's not going to really, it's not going to really get them too far. It's not going to really get them too far living a life like this. Cause this person, they come off to me as somebody who's very careless. Somebody who's very reckless. Somebody who doesn't have their priorities straight. Um, they also kind of strike me as a type of person that likes to play the victim. Um, they also like to manipulate people, um, into thinking and believing whatever it is that they want that person to think and believe. Um, so I guess one can say that this person, you know, is a little bit of a narcissist. This path that they're currently on, this this way that this person is choosing to live their life, it's not going to really get them anywhere. It's not going to get them anywhere. No one's going to sit up here and take this fool seriously. Just like you didn't take them seriously, the next person is not going to take them seriously. Um, and that's just that, Virgo. You didn't really lose here. You actually won. You actually won. And I kind of feel like very soon you're going to realize you actually won. You actually won. Okay? So, that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys at your next reading. Bye.